Hi guys, so today I have been to get my first pair of running trainers courtesy of my grandma. As you can see, I'm in her home today, on location. Um, I thought I'd show you guys what I bought. They were actually for my Christmas present, so they will be hidden away now until Christmas. There she is! Wave, Nanny! Can I see you? There she is! Um, so I thought I'd show you guys what trainers she bought me today. Now, I went to a place called Sportlink. Hopefully, I'll pop the drop down below. They're a really good running shop based in Norwich. Neil Featherby, who actually runs it, um, has been doing running for years and years and years and years. He actually used to play football with my dad in the 70s, which is pretty cool. So he's really good and got great advice. There's also a girl called Steph that works there that's sort of a sports therapist as well, and there's another young lad. But um, I saw Neil today. So I shall show you. I got some ASICs, which I heard were really good trainers anyway, since I did do a little bit of research into different types. Yeah, so ASICs. Um, I actually was quite lucky and got the kids version, because my feet are really small. I'm normally a size 3, but they do tell you to go up in size. So I'm kind of lucky there, because we saved a bit of money. Right, so this is the last time I'll see them until Christmas. Here they are. I know they're not the most flattering girly colour, but I don't really care about colour. It's all about comfort and stability for me. They're actually called the Gel 1170s. I don't know if you can see, he was showing me how they're really like ridiculously cushioned. I can't even press them because I'm not strong enough. But they're really cushioned, um, which he said was brilliant. And also they've got a bit of an instep, like I'll show you the inner sole. La la la, let me get it out. It's got a special inner sole in it as well, which is good. And apparently your feet like mould to this, so it's going to be good. And it's got quite a high, as you can see, which is really good because I've got a high instep. So yeah, what they do is, to test these shoes, is they popped me flat-footed, barefooted, shall we say, onto a treadmill. So I did that, and I walked and I ran, and he actually had a little computer set up behind me that could um, show him in slow motion how my feet actually moved, like I walk, like I've got a pause. Um which was really clever. Nanny sat there quite happily, tucked up on a chair, just watching me sweat a lot, since I'm not a runner. But um, he did that to see initially, bought loads of different pairs of shoes down, tried different ones on, um, and I fell in love with these ones, um, which he then left on the treadmill for about five or ten minutes, <sighs> nearly collapsed, but it was all worth it. Good thing for me, actually, because um, I don't normally run, so I got these. And with them, I actually got these cool socks now. Orange is cool anyway. But, I don't know if you can see, if I get it in focus, they're like that. They're really, really padded. Oh, the screen's all gone blue. That's a bit strange. They're really, really padded. Um, and they're really soft. And they're about £10 um, to buy. And they're by a company called Balger. Balger? Drynamics. Balega, Balega's Dynamics Moisture Management Fibres and Unique Rapid Moisture Evaporation System. There you go, that's a mouthful, but they come in a packet like this. So I got two pairs of them as well, so I'm all set. But um, yeah, if you if you want running shoes and you you haven't run before, I recommend going to a specialist running shop, definitely, because I wouldn't have had a clue what to buy. <laughs> and actually, these trainers were meant to be about £40 retail, which is really cheap. I'm really chuffed I got a cheap pair of trainers. I thought, like, the adult pairs are about 110 but if you've got small feet, ladies, you're in for a winner. But um, I hope this has helped, my little um, insight into my running trainers. But I'll keep you all updated. I'm not actually going to start doing it until after Christmas. It's going to be like a New Year's resolution for me, but... Um, I thought I would show you all what I've bought. I'm very excited that my grandma's bought these for me. It's a very practical present, but I really wanted them. So, guys, keep updated. But um, in the new year, I shall be sort of aiming for about a 5K run in the first month or two. Um, if I build up a good training programme, I'm going to want to do it in the gym and also outside. So, fingers crossed it'll all go well. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye!